Countered by all the, wow, easy lurker hits before they get buried. So two lurkers, three lurkers are going to go down before they even get burrowed. And now he's going to scout back the Marines in a nice dark swarm, though. So that'll keep that safe. But he lost way too many lurkers before he got it burrowed. And a quick reaction to move the Marines by, so, by Justin. So, um, pretty decent play there by Justin to move his Marines quickly. This one vulture just decides to run right through it all. It's a free <laughs> But a nice play, even though he lost some lurkers, a nice play by zero there. He's going to, oh, and now all these lurk. oh, my gosh, lurk, six lurkers will be lost instantly. So, as I said, zero is doing a nice job of keeping Justin out of the middle. Justin now is owning the middle. So, Justin started off with losing so many Marines early, I thought it was going to hurt him. But now he is definitely playing a positive game. And, oh, wow. And irradiate on the Defiler. So, nice play there by Justin. So, another hatchery is going up for and a drop ship right there. And is he going to drop and destroy the hatch? So now he will drop Marines. And now that hatchery will go down. But now there's going to be too many Lings. So the drop will be completely owned. But now he's going to pick up the Marines. So nice play by Justin. I think he's been listening to me. He's like, crap, this guy's right. Sunday's right. I better be more careful with my Marines. And now he has. And now he's finding himself. I probably. he's Oh, but he loses the shot, a drop ship. So, ouch. And it's important that Justin's top left expansion does not get detected. And now you are seeing a first person view at the bottom of your screen from Justin's point of view. Or from Justin's. So it's a VOD from Justin. Justin uh, playing decently well. Be I just He's lost two dropships with a lot of units in them. So that's not good. But now Lurker's coming in. So And a nice dark swarm there. Huge part. So wow, nice dark swarm. So, But another dr sh a drop ship is out. So we have seen some pretty... Oh, and another drop ship lost. So a lot of drop ships are going down for Justin. And I don't think he can lose this many drop ships. A lot of little leans are running down the middle of the map. So we will see a... Wow, so two forces. So a large force in the middle of the map. All these lanes are going to try to rush in and do a little damage to the natural. And all they're going to be able to do is pick off a missile turret and they will be quickly screwed out. So a nice irradiate there on the... Oh, wow. So all these, all those units will go down. So a huge play. Wow, a lot of kills from that irradiate. So nice play. So um, Justin is doing a beautiful job of holding the middle. And Zero gotta br has to break the kind of contain in the middle of the map if he wants to get... If he wants to win this game, he cannot just let Terran dominate the middle, and he's tried to break it several times, but he has not been not been effective. So now a group of lings and lurkers, or one lurker and a group of lings, are going to go in. But now this expansion at the bottom left will be caught completely off guard, and he will be able to lay that out. And a nice dark swarm, though. So, wow. Uh, but there's going to be a group of marines that aren't in the dark swarm, so they're, they're going to be... Um, they're going to be able to do a lot of damage to the hatch. They're going to probably be able to wipe out that expansion... If they ever turn around and attack the expansion. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. So ultralists are out. So he went from lings to lurkers to lings and ultralists is what you do because you never can have enough gas to get ultralists and lurkers. So so this expansion will go out, though. So good play by Justin. Justin has really turned his play around. But now they will. he will save the extractor of the expansion because he has too many lings. So they will lay out those marines. So now he will be expanding again. Justin will, but that... Well, that SCV will become quickly destroyed by the uh, lings of zero. And, and he radiate right on the ultralist. <laughs> nice play by Justin. So Justin landing some good irradiates and um, doing a decent job at maintaining the middle. And oh wow, good, good job. You can't lose. Uh, you cannot lose those. Um. Whoa. And oh, never mind. Thought, sorry, I thought I saw something. You cannot lose science vessels to scourges. That's what I was going to say earlier, but then I thought I saw something. So, another, oh, an irradiate on the defiler. So, nice job landing irradiates for um, Justin. So, he's going to find himself in the in lead of in the lead of this game. I'm giving the advantage to um to uh, Justin just because he has maintained the middle so well and has got expansions up and been keeping them pretty safe. And now there are so many leans running through, but ow, all those wow, lots of. Mines are going to be taking that off, but now a large force of ultralists, so he is just going to be charging right through the middle of this, and now a huge encounter, but there's going to be a lot of marines, but now a beautiful irradiate, so wow, he's going to find himself in complete trouble 
A nice job by Justin to hold off this attack. So, wow. All of the force of uh, Zero has pretty much went down. A large attack. And now, hey, there's going to be still a lot of Lings. But um, the Lings are not going to do too, too much. So, Science Vessel count for Justin has stayed loud. But a nice Dark Swarm as we speak. And it's important that he does not lose the Scourge. And he's got it. Oh, wow. The Science Vessel. Oh, Nice science vessel. Oh, but he does lose uh, science. Oh, he loses all those science vessels almost. So three science vessels to go down to scourges. So that's not going to be that. That's not going to be good for Justin. But all these links. Nice dark swarms. Beautiful dark swarms. So, and, but and, uh, there's a one of you irradiate. So beautiful play by, um, he is landing some good dark swarms. But there's just not, there's a lot of links in the middle. So both armies and both forces has been, have been completely taken out. But a lot of Marines are coming up. So Justin has done a well, a good job in maintaining the top. And now there looks to be a drop in the bottom right corner. But we have not seen it yet. Or he was just scouting. So never mind. So, but Justin is maintaining the middle. And now getting up another expansion. And so is the hatchery is going up for. So he's going to quickly kill that hatchery. But now all these links are going to be rushing in. But do nothing. So. Trying to keep the pressure on. That's what Zero is trying to do on Justin. But Justin is doing a decent job at, at maintaining the center of this uh, map. So he's doing a pretty good job at laying off the expansion. So I'm definitely giving the advantage to Justin just because he has limited the, limited the expansions of Zero. And he has maintained the middle and kept his expansion safe. So definitely giving the advantage to... um to Justin but now all these forces are going to be encountering each other there's not going to be enough lings and a nice irradiate there so uh wow but there is going to be a couple ultralists so um now Justin will find himself in a, maybe a little trouble a nice lurker berry so all these ultras will be able to pick off those marines and medics so Justin will lose his um he will not be able to keep his front he is going to lose the middle so zero doing a nice a huge attack by zero and this is he has found himself right back in the game really it's a pretty evenly matched game right now i just think um oh and now the mutal is my wow ultras they will be able to take out this expansion so that will be done so a huge turning point in this game and probably zero has taken the lead 